just wanted to read this story to you. It's called Alfie's Feet and it's by Shirley Hughes. She's the author and the illustrator. Alfie had a little sister called Annie Rose. Alfie's feet were quite big. Annie Rose's feet were rather small. They were all soft and pink underneath. Alfie knew a game he could play with Annie Rose counting her toes. You know this game? It's called This Little Piggy Went to Market. This Little Piggy Stayed at Home. This Little Piggy Had Roast Beef. And This Little Piggy Had No And This Little Piggy Went wee 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 I can't find my way home. That's what they're playing there. Now Annie Rose had lots of different ways of getting about. She went forwards crawling and backwards on her behind. And she liked to slide about very fast on her potty, skidding round and round on the floor and in and out of the table legs. Yeah, she's having a really good time there, doesn't she? Annie Rose had some new shoes. She could walk in them a bit if she was pushing her little cart or holding on to someone's hand. When they went out, Annie Rose wore her red shoes and Alfie wore his old brown ones. Mum usually helped him put them on because he wasn't very good at doing up the laces yet. That's a tricky job doing up the laces. Can any of you go do up your laces yet? If it had been raining, Alfie liked to go stamping about in mud and walking through puddles. Splish, splash, splosh. Then his shoes got rather wet. So did his socks and so did his feet. Drying off, aren't they, by that fire? That's a nice snoozy cat there on the sofa. So one Saturday morning, Alfie and Mum went to a big shop in the high street. What kind of shop do you think that is? They bought a pair of shiny new yellow boots for Alfie to wear when he went stamping about in mud and walking through puddles. Alfie was very pleased. He carried them home himself in a cardboard box. Very proud of them, isn't he? When they got in, Alfie sat down at once and unwrapped his new boots. He put them all on by himself and walked about in them. Stamp, stamp, stamp. Look at that proud face. He went into the kitchen. Can you see that? He went into the kitchen. Oh, look at that. Looks like a busy, fun place to be, doesn't it? He went to show his mum and dad and Annie Rose, stamping his feet all the way. Stamp, stamp, stamp. The boots were very smart and shiny, but they felt funny. Alfie wanted to go out again right away, so he put on his mat. And Dad took his book and his newspaper and they went off to the park. Why do you think his Wellington boots are a bit funny? Why might they feel a bit funny? Alfie stamped in a lot of mud and walked through a lot of puddles. Splish, splash, splosh! He frightened some sparrows who were having a bath. He even frightened two big ducks. They went hurrying back to their pond, walking with their feet turned in. Alfie looked down at his feet. They still felt funny. They kept turning outwards. Oh, I think I know what's happened. Dad was sitting on a bench. They both looked at Alfie's feet. 
Suddenly, Alfie knew what was wrong. What do you think I was wrong? Dad lifted Alfie onto the bench beside him and helped him to take off each boot and put it on the other foot. And when Alfie stood down again, his feet didn't feel a bit funny anymore. They were on the wrong feet, weren't they? Do you do that sometimes? You've got any special tricks for keeping mum on our feet. After tea, mum painted a big black R onto one of Alfie's boots and a big black L on the other to help Alfie remember which boot was which. The R was for right foot and the L was for left foot. The black paint wore off in the end and the boots stopped being new and shiny, but Alfie usually did remember to get them on the proper way around after that. They felt much better when he was stamping around in mud and walking through puddles. They probably did. Needed to be on the right way, didn't they? And of course, Annie Rose made such a fuss about Alfie having new boots that she had to have a pair of her own to go stomping about in too. Splish, splash, splash. I love that story. Do you know your left and right? Can you tell which way the shoes go? You have a look at your shoes, then you might sometimes see that there's a bend goes inside as well. And that's another way of saying it. it goes like this. There's a bend that goes on the inside, and you can tell which is which. Or if you go like that, and you're looking at whichever one makes the left the left, that's your left hand. Yeah. Okay. Nice to see you all. I hope you enjoyed that story. <laughs>